Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be talking about the very much rumored new Nintendo Switch. Um, what exactly is this? We don't know, but it was first reported by the Wall Street Journal, so it seems pretty reputable. Um, article doesn't say much, except that maybe mid next year, maybe around E3 time. I'll put a link to that article in the description below, but yeah, here are my five predictions. Um, whether they're reasonable or not, that's up for you to decide, but here are just some ideas that I've had, as well as ideas I've come across online. So, the first idea is the a Switch Pro. Um, more power, more internal memory, longer battery, and a screen upgrade. These are all things that uh, people have complained about um, and wanted. So, the Switch um, is underpowered compared to its counterparts. Um, the PS4 and uh, Xbox, and some of the games, you know, I wouldn't say any games really suffer from it, but they could use um, a little bit of a power boost. More internal memory, the Switch only comes with 32 gigabytes. Of course, you can get a micro SD, um, but it seems like Nintendo should just put bigger memory in because 32 gigabytes fills up pretty fast, especially when they keep pushing all these um, digital downloads. Um, so it seems like they should just do it. Longer battery, um, honestly the battery isn't great when it's on the go and you're playing a high powered game. I think it dies in like two hours, honestly it's not great. Uh, screen upgrade, um, just a better screen, it currently is uh, at 720, um, 60 FPS when it's undocked, um, it's the max um, game resolution and speed. Uh, yeah, just a screen upgrade, 1080p. Um, I think it's fine, but that's what people might want. Number two is just better quality. Um, I'm talking uh, physically. So that's better plastics, a better stand, and a better screen again. We just went over the screen. Um, better plastics. There's been some chipping as well as um, cracking in parts of the switch. Um, very much so, I've seen a lot around where the fan is a lot of uh, moving parts and the stand is as everybody knows is pretty much trash um, it can barely stand it's very wobbly and it's only at one angle number three is a solid model now I've been thinking about this for a while and I think it's a very reasonable idea so um, while other people do not you can of course call me out and say I'm wrong but here's why I think it's possible um, first off, it would be cheaper, um, you wouldn't need a dock, and the Joy-Cons wouldn't detach. Um, and people are like, well, part of the Switch is that the Joy-Cons come off. Well, if you're buying this, you're friendless. Um, so, you, you don't need the Joy-Cons. And two, you always have the option to get more Joy-Cons. How you would pair that, um, I don't know, because you're supposed to pair them by sliding them on and off, so that would have to be uh, a firmware upgrade. Um, and yeah I just think that this is very possible to bring the price significantly down especially with games like Smash and Animal Crossing which people will definitely be playing on the go um, it just seems like a solid model could be very viable and personally if I didn't have one I would may, might get it cheaper version um, just because on, I don't really play my switch outside of my house um, and when I do, I'm not bringing it to play with friends in the park like Nintendo thinks people are. Number four, um, this would be a slight power upgrade. We already talked about more power, but this would be a power upgrade um, to handle those higher power games. And it would maybe be bundled with a new launch title. Um, we're supposed to have Metroid Prime 4 coming out, so maybe something about that where um, it could handle the games better so you would just have a better experience for people who want that but it wouldn't be a huge um, thing and finally I think this is very much needed is an internal mic um, in the thing so you can finally voice chat Nintendo recently added that you can like talk with random strangers whoa that's new nobody's ever done that before but adding an internal mic so you can do voice chat um, and don't need to rely on a cell phone Let's be honest, uh, you're not going to be online if you're out in the park. So, yeah, there we have it. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, catch me later. Bye.